Hi, and welcome to our video tutorial on how to set up and access your control by web devices using our CBW mobile app for iPhone. Before we begin, you should have already set up and configured any control by web devices you want to access with this app. If you would like to access the device from outside your local network, you will need to set up port forwarding on your router. Once you can access the devices using a web browser, you are ready to use the app. For more information on how to do this, please see the support page on our website at www.controlbyweb.com. For this tutorial, we have set up two devices on our local network. The first device is a standard web relay with an IP address of 192.168.1.63. This device will be used to monitor and control a door in our building. For the wiring, we have connected a door sensor to the input of the web relay to monitor whether the door is either opened or closed. We have also connected a magnetic lock to the device's relay. The second device we have set up is an X300 advanced temperature module that is set to thermostat mode. This device will be used as our office thermostat. It has an IP address of 192.168.1.62. We have already successfully tested both of these devices in a web browser, and now we would like to access them using the CBW mobile app. When we start the app, we're greeted with an About page. This page will appear at startup only when you first open the app. After that, you'll start on the control panel. To access the control panel, tap Done. This is the primary control center for the app that allows us to access our control by web devices. Right now it's blank because we have not yet added any devices. To do so, we'll tap the Setup icon in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Here we have our setup menu, where we can edit a list of our devices. We can also set up control panels to control our device's individual components, or we can lock our control panel for security. First we want to add some devices, so we'll tap Edit Device List. Since we haven't added any of our devices yet, we will add one by tapping the plus button at the top right hand corner of the screen. There are several fields that you can fill out on this page. The most important fields on this screen are the address of the device, its port, and the device type, which are all crucial to be able to access our devices. We can also give it a name for future reference, enter the control page password if it's enabled on the device, and enter the admin password if you'd like to access the setup pages on the device. The last two options allow you to set how quickly the control page refreshes the device's components. You can also add any notes for future reference. For now, we'll give it a simple name. We'll call it Door. Now we'll enter the IP address, which is 192.168.1.63, and we'll leave the port blank because it is already set to the default port. We will also set the web relay for the device type, and we'll tap Done to save these settings. Now we will add our second device, the X300. We'll enter in the name of thermostat, and type in the IP address of 192.168.1.62. We'll also leave the port blank and select X300 advanced temperature module for the device type. And we'll hit done. Now we want to add some of the device's components to the control panel. So we will select edit control panels. Before we add components from our devices, we'll give the control panel a custom name. We'll call it office. Then to add some components, we'll tap the add icon and select the web relay that we recently added. For now we'll add the input and relay, so we'll first tap on input. You can see that each component you add to the control panel will bring up a screen of optional settings. We can give it a name, choose what page to move it to, show or hide its status, or rename the on and off indicators. For now we'll give it a name of door status, and we'll rename the status to read open and closed.
Next, we'll add the relay. The relay has additional options to name the on, off, and pulse buttons. Since we're using this relay to control our door lock, we'll simply name it door lock. We will also choose to show separate on and off buttons, and we will rename them lock and unlock. Because we don't want to pulse the lock, we'll hide the pulse button. We will also rename the status on and off text to read locked and unlocked. Once we're done, our control panel now shows the components we just added. If you would like to edit their settings again, tap the component and then tap edit. Now we are going to add the X300 thermostat to our control panel. We'll tap the Add icon and select the thermostat. And to keep the names consistent, we'll name the component thermostat. We would also like full access to our thermostat settings on our control page, so we will show each of the thermostat settings. The other buttons located in the bottom right hand corner of the screen are for adding control panels, deleting control panels, creating shortcuts from one control panel to another, which comes in handy to navigate when you have several control panels, and you can also reorder control panels. That's all we need to set up for now. So if we return to our control panel, we should see and have access to all of the components we just set up. We can see our door status is closed, that our door lock is unlocked, and we can view all of our thermostat settings that we set up. You can also still access your Control by Web devices and their components independently of the app. You can do this by typing in the device's IP address into any web browser. Please note that if you change any of the device's key settings in a web browser, such as network settings, you will also need to make those same changes in the CBW mobile app. There are so many possibilities of different ways to use your Control by Web products. This app conveniently lets you access and control all of your devices when you're on the go. We hope you find it helpful in your various applications. If you have any questions about setting up the app to use with your Control by Web products, please feel free to visit our website at www.controlbyweb.com or send us an email at support at controlbyweb.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.